Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And so today what we got going on is we ran out and we got some uh, mothballs. So we have a groundhog that it has decided to live underneath our shed and it's eating the, uh, our corn and it's eating uh, the leaves of our okra. And so our neighbor said one of the best ways and most effective ways to get rid of them is just throw some mothballs down. They don't like the smell and, uh, and so they will vacate the area. So that's what we're gonna do. So my wife is concerned that the rain is going to dissolve the mothballs. So for the time being, we're just going to get a few of them down just so that way we can kind of get the ball rolling on them. And I got these at Ace, but you can buy them, you know, any big box store or Walmart or whatever. And they're just standard uh, run-of-the-mill mothballs. So I'll just grab one of these packages here. And so we'll, we'll put down basically one of these packages and then we'll save the other ones for um, for a later date. And so- Oh, it smells. Yeah, that, well, that's the smell that they don't like. So what we're gonna do is we don't need these to be all throughout the corn. We're just gonna get them to where they're more on the edge of- uh, That's where the holes he does. Where they're, where they're coming out Oh my of. gosh, that smells horrible, man. Yeah, well, strong. welcome to Mount Mom Falls. That's, they don't so the mothballs smell, um, I mean, there's not really any way to describe it. I mean, I guess it's, it's a kind of a strong menthol. Um, it's, it's strong. It's, it's very strong. So to say the least, what we're gonna, the, the, I can see why the groundhogs wouldn't like them. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, no, no real rhyme or reason where I'm going to throw them. I'm just going to try to get it as close to underneath the shed as I can, just because that's where it's, it's living. So the, the, you know, the closer I can get to those areas, the better. And if it's not perfectly under the shed or perfectly right next to it, I think that's going to be okay. And these things are strong. They smell strong enough that I think that um, it's not going to take much to get to get this thing to go. So that's, I think, is good for the time being on this side. We'll do so. Uh, have that's good enough for that side. We'll do basically the same thing over on this side. Like I said, I'll just grab a few and, and chuck them in, try to get them somewhat close to the, the edge of the shed or maybe a little bit even underneath if i can and like i said i think that will that'll probably serve the purpose here and then uh, the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go around to the back of the shed and i'm going to get a handful and actually throw them underneath the shed so that way there's a few that are in that area and uh hopefully that will chase him out of there and, and we don't have to worry about him or her coming in and, and destroying <laughs> our crops so All right, guys, so here we are at the back of the shed. And like I said, I'm gonna, the next step is I'm just gonna try to get some up underneath it if I can. <laughs> if I can. Close enough. And hopefully what this will do is it'll make it to where they're not gonna want to, um, Live there if they leave, they're not going to want to come back and especially being the fact that this is underneath the shed it should also help protect it a little bit from uh say like the rain and deteriorating or dissolving away super fast and this right here this is actually where we saw uh we saw him we saw his head coming out of right underneath this hole so I'm just going to see if I can get one kind of back there a little bit, just like that. Throw it in there, I did. So. Just like that. And that, I think, will be... That should serve the purpose. You can see it's... There's our corn. So, hopefully now we don't have to worry about... Uh, the groundhog coming in and, and furthering to destroy our crops. All right, guys, and then just because it's been here eating all of the leaves, we're gonna drop just a couple of them here and there. To, so hopefully it will detour them from coming and continuing to eat all of the leaves of our squash here. And uh, we're near towards the end of the season anyway, so hopefully uh, we don't have to have too big of an issue here.
throw some to the carrot area over there. Poor carrots. <laughs> See, look, it's uh, it's starting to come and uh, eat our melon. Our melon is getting destroyed by them as well. Okay. Alright guys, so like I said, hopefully this works. Um, we're going to have to keep an eye on, on our, our greens here to see if something's continuing to munch on them or not. If something is, then we'll have to figure else, figure something else out. Uh, but as I said, my neighbor, he's uh, he knows what he's talking about more often than not. And so he said just typical mothballs, and that should prevent the uh, uh, deer, rabbit, and uh, the groundhog from getting into our garden and should have uh, no problems. And like I said, we're only putting a few here and there just because they don't like the smell. And so that way it doesn't dissipate and uh, absorb into the plants. And so we typically don't like to use any types of pesticides or anything like that. But in this case, um, the only other option is setting traps and, and killing the animal, which is something we'd like to avoid. So we'd, we'd prefer just to uh, detour him than be forced to kill him. So um, hopefully this works and we'll go from there. All right. So as always, guys, please don't uh, forget to like and subscribe. And if you find this video interesting and useful, please share it and, and to somebody who might benefit from it. And as always, thank you for your support. Thank you.